Lesson 5.6, inverse of a function. Our essential question, how do you find and verify the inverse of a nonlinear function? There were two problems left on the page for independent practice, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at those. First, I'm being asked to find the inverse of this f of x. So here is my f of x function. To find the inverse, I need to replace f of x with y equals, and now I need to switch the x and the y's. So here's me switching my x and my y's. And now I need to solve for y. So I'm going to add 2 to each side. x plus 2 is a y to the second power. I need to raise both sides to an exponent to where when I multiply these two exponents together, they would turn to 1 and 1 each other out. 2 times a 1 half would multiply together to 1 each other out. So we're going to raise each side to the 1 half. Raising to the 1 half is the same thing as taking the square root of that entire side. These multiply together give me 1, so I just have y. So my g of x function is the square root of x plus 2. We are only being asked to use where x's are positive or 0. So we're only going to be graphing this direction. We are not allowed to graph this direction. So let's graph our f of x function and graph our g of x function. So looking at our f of x, this is the quadratic function who has been moved down 2. So my vertex is down 2. My vertex is now at the coordinate point 0, negative 2. I have no vertical stretch or shrink. So I know that I'm going to be going over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 5. So over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, 2, 3 over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is going to be the end of the quadratic function because I'm not allowed to use the negative x values. So this is my current f of x function. Well, now I need to graph my g of x function. And I don't necessarily know how to graph the g of x function. So let's go ahead and use our f of x table to come up with our g of x table that will allow us to graph it. So what points did we graph on our f of x? This was 0, negative 2. This was 1, negative 1. He was 2, positive 2. And he is 1, 2, 3. He's a positive 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, 7. We found four points. There's four points. Our x and y's are going to switch places. So if it was an x, it is now a y. And if it was a y, it is now an x. And these are the coordinate points that we're going to graph to graph this function. So I have negative 2, 0, negative 1, 1, 2, 2, and 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 1, 2, 3. So this is my g of x function. And how do I confirm it is my g of x function? We are going to graph the reflection line. Because all inverses, if they are true inverses of one another, will reflect across this line of reflection. So if I fold the paper right along this line, I know that this would map right on here. The points are equal distant from one another across the line. So they are inverses of one another. Our last function, I'm being asked to find the inverse. So if this is my f of x, I, instead of f of x, I need to write y. And if we're finding the inverse, then we need to switch our x's with our y's, and we need to solve for y. That's not a g, that's a 9. So I'm going to add 4 to each side. I'm going to multiply both sides by the 9. So I've got 9x plus 36, because the 9 gets distributed to everybody. 9 times 1 over 9, they 1 each other out. That's just y squared. I need to raise both sides to an exponent, so that, it, so that exponent would multiply this 2, and they would 1 each other out. 2 times a 1 half gives me a 1, so I'm raising both sides to the 1 half. Raising to the 1 half is the same thing as taking this square root. So I'm taking the square root of that 9x plus 36. 2 times 1 half is 1, so they 1 each other out, and I'm left with y. So my inverse is g of x equals the square root of 9x plus 36. 
Now I need to graph both F, but when I graph F, F only get graphed on the positive X values. And then I need to graph my inverse. So we're gonna graph F of X using an XY table. And I am only allowed to use zero and the positive X values. So we're gonna start at zero, and I'm gonna give myself a couple of positive values to graph. So we're gonna use our calculator, plug these X values into the function to find our Y values. So plugging in zero, I got negative four. Plugging in one, I got negative 3.8. Plugging in two, I got negative 3.5. Plugging in three, negative three. Plugging in four, negative 2.2. And plugging in five, got negative 1.2. So this would be my F. If that is my F, then if I want to graph my G, your X's just need to switch with your Y's. So what was a Y is now an X. And what was an X is now a Y. So let's go ahead and graph F of X. So I have zero, negative four, 1, negative 1, 2, 3.8, 2, negative 3.5, 3, negative 3, 4, negative 2.2, 2, 5, negative 1.2. So this is my f of x function. Notice I got everybody on the positive x values. Now my g of x function, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, negative 3.8, 1, negative 3.52, negative 3, 3, negative 1, 2, negative 2.24, and negative 1.25. This is my f, my g of x function. Are these actually inverses? If they're inverses, then we need to be able to check across the line of reflection. So here is our reflection line. I see that the points are all equal distant from one another. I also see that if I folded along this dotted line, the lines would match up and line up. So I know that they're inverses.